What's going on YouTube? My name is Vitamin D. And welcome back to some King Koi Golden Love Rage. This is episode 23. We've not seen episode 22, which is the end of Sylvia's route. Go ahead and watch it right now. Now we're back here at the scenario select. We obviously just finished Sylvie. Next, which I'm really looking forward to is Reyna's route. Oh, what the heck? That's weird. We got Akane's already. I had heard that we were supposed to finish all three of them before unlocking the secret one. So I'm confused as to why Akan is already here. Maybe when we're done with all these four, maybe Rio will appear next. Because I know Rio is also at root, but she's definitely not here. There's no other secret, you know, rectangle thing with with the blacked out thing. Like, it's just Akane and them three. So, maybe Rio root after? I don't know. But anyways, today we're starting Reina's root. I'm really excited to start her root because I love her character. If Sylvia wins the best female or the true end, like I said, the... Last episode, Reyna would probably be my favorite heroine in this series. Probably. The way things are looking. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Ah, I'm so excited. A passion for fashion. Start Reyna's room. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this the same dream as that one time? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? If you're being keeping up, I'm sure you know what I mean. Oh, yep. It is that dream. Uh, has to do with the baseball thing. I'm sorry. That's clearly Chieka's voice. I could hear her voice. I recognize that voice. It's not like that. It wasn't for anyone else. It was for myself. I wanted to walk a path in life I could accept, free of feeling shame towards those around me. Wow, already depressing and we just started. Alright. I wanted to be golden. We were though, what do you mean? Oh wait, this is an alternate universe. Let's pretend it is at least. That was all. Ah. Uh, morning, huh? That is pretty rare. But I have a question. Is Mina still going to be a huge part of this? Do we still have to take those dumb training things? I mean, because we'd still be Sylvia's friend, presumably, right? So we probably will have to do that etiquette training. Ah, it's always so weird starting another route after you finished one that you really liked. Or just one in general. Anyways. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, morning, Mina-chan. No! Go away. Akana-chan, too? Good morning. Lively as always, I see. It's six o'clock in the morning. Once again, a collection of boisterous voices had driven me out of bed. Whoa, so cold. Super chilly out today, huh? Yeah, which is why I always wanted to stay in bed. No. no, we thought we were done with you. I thought we were leaving you behind in the Soviet room. Jeez. Yeah, that stand sounds way fire right now. Do it. The underclassmen girls sure were lively. My goodness. Strip. Why? Hmm? What's wrong? Oh, what's the big deal? It's just my shirt. Ordinarily get changed in the bathroom, but I decided to get undressed while I was still in bed. Seriously, Oda, what's wrong with you? Weirdo. Minachan grumbled with flushed cheeks. That's one way to scare him off. Huh? While Akunachan spazzed and made a bunch of random noises. Despite their different reactions, they were both awfully innocent. Neither of you can deal with seeing a naked guy, huh? <laughs> How adorable. Nah, get out of here. This is Reina Bay's route. It's not a matter of being fine with it or anything. I mean, I'm obviously going to keep my pants on. It's socially acceptable for a guy to be shirtless anyway. 
Besides, it doesn't bother me if you see me topless anyway. I couldn't chant. Just go to the dang bathroom, bro. Why you got be so weird? Jeez. <laughs> I thought this was Reina's route. What's going on? It's kind of embarrassing, but I think of you. I don't like this. Like a close relative. Sort of like a younger niece or relative you'd hop on in the bath with, you know? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I know that hurt. All right, changing complete. <laughs> I feel bad for her, but at the same time, I don't. Yeah? Inachan suddenly came up to me while I was getting ready for my morning workout with Akane. Why is she touching us? Why freak out about... I cannot read. Why freak out about seeing me shirtless and then touch my chest like it's no big deal? She ran her hands along my chest. Hey, yo. My what? My scrotum? <laughs> oh, interesting that you ask. We just had a nightmare about me quitting. Hmm. <clears throat> Drink water. Uh, that's my little secret. It was another sunny day. I gotta say another thing. I know I gotta shut up and just read, but I'm just thinking. Is he, I wonder if he's gonna confront the baseball situation and all the roots, or if he's just gonna leave him out. Or if it's gonna be one yes, one no. I don't know, it's so weird. Like, it's just so many questions, you know? Anyways, after radio calisthenics, I got ready to school, for school, and had a decent amount of time to spare. Can I see we, can we, can we, uh, 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 can we start Bay Reina? It been a little fixated on breakfast in recent mornings. Recent mornings. The cafe here has got a pretty impressive spread. Since I was an academy affiliated cafe, put out a super basic breakfast of toast, salad, scrambled eggs, and milk free of charge. You could even get a single cup of coffee on the house, and that was plenty to start off your day. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Huh? Rich girls are incredible. There was some staggering variety in the add-ons you could purchase. The extras weren't free and were often sold for 50 or 100 yen each. If you could spend 500 yen or so on an ordinary breakfast set, then there was full enough of a menu to put together a hearty dinner too. With all the different restaurant delivery options at dinner time, you never expect there was a student dormitory with these amenities, but even the dorm facilitated cafe was amazing. Once again, I really had underestimated the power of Noble Academy. You could change your order every morning and it'd be totally fine. For today's breakfast, I selected a German sausage set. Ah oh, yeah, sausages. A triple set of Arabiki sausage, pork, and herbs came to a total of 100 yen. It was crazy cheap, yet insanely satisfying. <laughs> You're the ones who wouldn't let me in. I had limited access to this cafe until recently. I had eaten the basic breakfast basically every day, but that was the only thing I'd ever had the chance to try. All because you know who had currently brought me the free set and nothing else every single time. Oh no! <laughs> Already starting this day rough. Root, I mean, what? Whoa. I hadn't noticed that the dodgy girl had closed in. <laughs> After reaching the subject, caga. In Spanish, caga means to poop. Voy a caga. Quickly darted off. Dang her, she dumped this trouble some person off on me. 
Yes, yes. Not just Ichimatsu-san. Also me. Not just Ichimatsu-san. Me. Me too. Bokumo. Uh, that's not really... Uh, shut up. She's totally not tired. She's being sarcastic. I, I don't have any grudges against you, really. I do! I definitely do! Vitamin D does! Uh, I got roped into an awful situation first thing in the morning. The boarders seemed to welcome me, though. However, Jogosaki decided to change up her attack strategy now that she was the only one left who wanted to oust me. She would basically nag me to no end while maintaining a neutral position. Jogosaki probably wanted to keep me under a moderate degree of stress and wait for me to expose some shortcomings. Dang, I really made an enemy of an awful woman. Absolutely. And then... Nani, nani. Oh, there's rain to bay. There you are. Yes. I'm so excited. Another party entered and got involved from the opposite direction. Yeah,いや。<laughs> Why? Why to make her uncomfortable? Good job. <clears throat> what? What? I did not. I shouted at her. The topic of discussion was veering off in a pretty horrendous direction. This is great. I could get off to this. Wait, not not like that. Not like that. However, thanks to Reina's obnoxious cackling, onlookers assumed it was all a joke and giggled as well. And then... <laughs> That's my favorite reaction off of her. I love seeing her uncomfortable and distressed. Good job, Reina. She's now my favorite woman. Jogosaki couldn't stomach being singled out in a three-person comedy skit, blushed, and left. Which meant... I was free! <laughs> You saved me. <laughs> Reina shrugged it off, essentially telling me not to worry about it, and grinned. That was ideal interference, if you ask me. Jogosaki's methods were consistently on the brink of harassment, and were designed so anyone who intervened poorly would end up the bad guy. If I were to elaborate further, even if he chastised Jogosaki perfectly, that would cause turbulence of its own later on down the line. Reino's method of leaning into a conversation Jogasaki would naturally not want to be part of worked out so nobody got hurt. I thought this for a long time now, but her ability to adapt to any given situation was incredible. She was skilled at striking a perfect balance. <laughs> oh dang, look at her eating all those wieners. Ah, uh, who said you could eat my food? She chowed down on one of my wieners, links from my breakfast. <laughs> Reina, Jesus Christ. It's not the 18 plus route, what do you mean? Oh my god, imagine the 18 plus route on Reina! <laughs> I know that would be wild. I'm definitely gonna put on the patch just to see what she says and does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do sometimes see pubescent boys overreact to dirty jokes, especially in manga written by women, but real men aren't that stupid. What sucks about it, exactly? Oh well, she did rescue me, so I could probably spare a single wiener for her. You told dirty jokes at 7.30 in the morning without a moment's hesitation, huh? Something I'd do? <laughs> Compared to the angels who screeched the second they saw my chest, it just seems awfully scuzzy. What the heck does scuzzy mean? I've never heard that word before. You know what? Hey Siri, what does scuzzy mean? Scuzzy, adjective. Dirty and unpleasant. A scuzzy apartment. Alright. Okay, rain is totally not scuzzy. What do you mean? Hmm? Suddenly, Reina's gaze landed on my face. What's up with you? She was staring at me. What was it? I'm the type who takes his morning coffee black, actually. 
うんでもコーヒー牛乳の方がいろいろとこうテンション上がるしょ Hold on, hold on, hold on. <coughs> I've noticed that with Reina in particular, I could hardly hear her because of the background music. It's awful. Oh,、uh, Let's see. Hopefully, she's a little louder now. Hopefully. Huh? Off she went. What was that about? Talk about a weirdo. But come to think of it, I guess I didn't know much of anything about Reyna. Oh, this is so weird seeing her after this route. Jeez. After the other route, I mean. <clears throat> That's just a homie now.、Ugh. Here. I head of the school. It had already been just under two months since I enrolled at Noble Academy, and I was already fitting in like a gov. Of course not. Let me copy yours. My studies aside, anyway. I certainly try to fit in, but. Sophie, you don't have many friends, do you? Pardon me. Bro, what the? You're only close with me and a couple of other people, right? Well, it wasn't really a matter of friends or anything like that. It made sense with our class when both Sylvie and e l i s a n had established themselves as being out of place. Setting myself aside, there were very few who could calmly approach the princess and drum up a casual conversation. I need to know, guys, is this, is this too low for the background music? Let me know, because I'm not, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. If it's too low, let me know in the comment section, like right now. Or if this is good enough, also say something. Or if it's not, also don't say anything. But if it is bad, please do tell me. I would appreciate it. Setting myself aside, there were very few who could calmly approach the princess and drum up a casual conversation. Those who did approach her didn't seem so much like friends as much as fans. They only seemed to want to watch and squeal from a short distance away. So we herself was friendly to all of her classmates, so their relationship did seem decent to me on its own right. But when I start to think about it, You're awfully close to her, huh? I looked over at Reyna. Since when was she close to Reyna? I, I don't I don't, I don't, I don't understand. She was off chatting with her other friends in class today. Huh. <sighs> you should have sent like that, Reyna. I can see your panties. I, I don't see nothing. And this is a really nice art. You seem oddly close to her. Aside from me, Sylvie was on specially good terms with a goofball like Reyna. Given the circumstances, it was a big deal that the Princess Sylvia Sama would stay the night in Reyna's room without batting an eye. Did something happen between you two? Did you two run away together at some point, which led to Edison tracking you down and nearly lopping Reyna's arm off after tossing her around a little? For sure. There was no way an incident like that would happen repeatedly. But in that case. <laughs> She replied happily. Hmm. <laughs> That's not really it. Reina was different from other girls. It was no o r m a l to assume something must have sparked a relationship. Why would we do that? And so. Not really. Reyna noticed I was watching her and walked over. When I shook my head and told her it was nothing, she headed back to her group like it was no big deal. Then. Yes, so, I must have been there because he's a bad guy. 
ねえそういうレーナは今日はちょっとまつげ濃いけど<笑>がわ,わかるかなマスカラ新しいのだから分量わかんなくてまったくもう Why is she talking to this freaking monster here? I understand. Not even Sylvie was that close to Ayaka. Good. We don't like Ayaka. I don't. Setting aside the fact she managed to become friends with Sylvie, she was even on pretty good terms with Jogasaki. She was friendly with all of us. That was super impressive in my book. There were people in class once in a while who could pull off this balancing act, but I did wonder how they managed. Even Jokas Yogasaki admitted that hating me just because I was a commoner. Reina should be the same as me in that sense, so how had she overcome it? Kisaki Reina. It had been two months since I had come to Nova Academy and we hadn't known each other for very long, and yet, she was a hard woman to get a handle on. Yep. Where the frick is the dialogue? What's going on? Oh, Kisaki, ne? Hold up, go back, go back. What the frick was that? I need to see what that was. Oh, was it just transition? My bad. Oh, yep, looks like it was. Hey, oh, Ria. Kisaki, ne? You know her? <coughs> wow. Never expected someone like her to know anything about Reina. So, why do you say she's famous? Other than myself, I hadn't heard about anyone being especially noteworthy since I'd enrolled here. Oh, yeah. I guess she did know about you, too. Do you get along with her? So she kept coming over to cheer you up even though you didn't want her to. Yeah, it made sense why they wouldn't be especially compatible. Even so, she must have been worried about the fact you got suspended. Ria seemed a little bothered that she'd painted Reina in a bad light at the time. She felt guilty for being so unsociable, but her heart seemed to be in the right place. Deep down, Ria really was a good person. Oh yeah. For sure. Enough to, if nothing else, remember the name of a certain someone who takes zero interest in other people. Ria turned away. Uh, she hit me right where it hurt. Sorry for that, Soma-kun. Ryo <laughs> clicked her tongue. It put me in a tough spot whenever the subject came up. We really did meet a long time ago, didn't we? Hmm. Sorry. I couldn't remember. I remembered Sylvie based on everything I'd heard. Ria had definitely been there with us, but I couldn't remember. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Ria wasn't the only person I was blanking on. Other than the boys I hung out with, the only other person I remembered was Sylvie, and that was because of how much she stood out. Huh? She stuck one of her favorite cigarettes in her mouth and faced away. Hmm. Didn't look like she was going to elaborate any further. I started to feel uneasy and hurried inside. Let's see. Ah, nothing. My feet had naturally led me to the fashion studio, a classroom Rain often visited. This was just about the time they called it a day and I caught her on their way out. No, thank you. <laughs> Rina laughed in her usual, easygoing way. Hmm. I dropped by since I felt like seeing her, but hadn't considered what I'd do once I got here. I didn't come for any real reason, so see ya. What? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> I waved and said goodbye. What? What's going on? Hmm. What to do now? When? Yeah. Huh? She squeezed onto my arm. Her bitty was hitting me a little. Um, well, I guess so. I gave the okay after being drawn in by her bitties. <laughs> but Reina let go as soon as I agreed. Nice. She knows what she's doing. She headed back into the fashion studio when... She came back. She used him as an excuse? Sure. Wait, it looked like she actually did have plans and she just bailed on them. It was normal to go home together if neither of us had anything to do. She came up with me despite having plans with one of her friends. No, perhaps I had gotten the wrong impression, but... We headed back together. With that said, we were both dorm dwellers and this wasn't some bittersweet after school outing. Our walk back to the dorm was nothing more than the two of us going to the same place. If I had to describe it. Yeah. Somehow led the two of us coming back to my dorm room. You haven't shown up for a week or so. Don't immediately dig through my stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't build up my porn stockpile in just a week's time anyway. Well, yeah, whatever's been used would move to the top. <laughs> Why are you getting embarrassed when you're the one who brought it up? She loved dirty jokes, but couldn't handle anything especially lewd. Oh, anyway. What's this all about? What's this all about? It was a container of milk, coffee milk, that they sold at the convenience store. Is this some new type of stealth marketing? I took the drink and poured it into my mug. <laughs> sweet. This refreshingly sweet flavor would nearly give honey a run for its money due its enhanced richness and coffee-esque aftertaste. Oh, so this was coffee milk. Yeah, I wonder what it is. There's this mellow sweetness and semi-bitter spice. I really admired these sorts of mature flavors when I was younger. Yeah. Relaxing. So, what sparked all of this? I appreciated her support, but why did she come all the way to my dorm just to watch me drink coffee milk? That reminds me, you were talking about coffee milk this morning, too. What's with the mar stealth marketing? Land a job at Starhooks or something? Hmm? Huh? She's on drugs, 100%. Sure. Gulp noises. Oh. I forgot. Wasurete. Actually, it's creepy since it feels like I'm. I'll actually forget. It's like I'm getting taken in by this shallow brainwashing. I can't drink anymore. Burp noise. Wait, herb? I don't know what that is. Coffee milk was tasty, but it was still pretty gross if you charged 500 milliliters of it at once. Jesus Christ. That aside, what painful stuff are you talking about? I keep forgetting that this is right after the end of the common route. So I'm like, wait, huh? 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 What time are we at? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This morning? If you're talking about why I was upset this morning, then you stealing one of my breakfast sausages was 90% of it. The last 10% was because it was outrageously cold. Hmm? Hmm? 
I kept thinking, wow, I'm tired and it's so cold. I was a little startled this morning during radio calisthenics. I was honestly feeling a little down in the dumps. Although it had completely dissipated by breakfast time. Oh, right, right. It's because of the dream. I forgot about that. I'm like, wait, why is he tripping, boss? The dream I had today. My lingering depression had been from that dream. My chat with Ria had been a little awkward earlier, so I had been somewhat upset. Huh? She picked out those tiny details in my expression? What the heck? Are you a mind reader or something? I guess. Kind of got what she meant. なら元気づけてあげたいし。ぐさって思われるかもだけど、そう思うだけでも結構気分とか晴れたりするしさ。すぐにわかるから。How about that? Nothing. Reno, you're one of those, huh? A busybody. いや、悲しいわい。自分でもちょっと自覚あるわい。でも仕方ないでしょ。こういう性分なの。辛たんの人、腐ってる人。そういう人を見過ごして、後から気になるくらいなら、最初からおせっかい全開で行った方がいいで
前に家に誘おうとしたよね。普通に断られたけど。God dang. 言うなバカ<笑>はそんなことが。違う俺が持ってきた漫画を読みたそうにしてたから、3巻まで貸したことがあったんだよ。それで4巻からも読みたいって言うから、なら家でって言ったら、持ってきてくれればいいよって。Ah, she sidestepped you like a complete natural. She wasn't even being cautious. That was the way you turned down a member of the opposite sex. You weren't even the least bit interested in. Should have known this, buddy. Come on. Cheer up. Listen, I hear Yaluki Gairu Sensei is gonna put on a new cross dressing manga. Why? Ma, Saigo Kuma, Sasoikataga Pridoni Korikatamate, not the Nakatu Ste. Futsuni, Kokakusteva, Gyoksai Stairu Stomo, Oiso de Slo. Rainer sure is popular. I thought there were many boys who would blatantly profess to love like that nowadays. Saki san wa, Nante Yuka, Ose de Kinan de Sione. Yasashi to Yuka. Yep. <laughs> She's no mommy. We were classmates, man. What? I'm just as confused as Oro, bro. What? Everyone other than me seem to have unified in a semi creepy direction. Huh? I had no idea what they were talking about, but were people other than me always disagreeable? Especially coming from Kikuchiro, what? <laughs> Motherly love. I hadn't heard a woman described in those terms anywhere but first of the South Star. Fist. <laughs> hmm. What? Are you in love with her? Arafu <laughs> Oh, he likes moves. The men here had a wide variety of fetishes. The one thing I could say was, she is not mommy. Their inclination aside, the men around here sure found her easy on the eyes. This was the one fact they could use to eloquently describe what sort of girl Kisaki Reina was. Marvelous thing indeed. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so we replied proudly. The satisfied look on Sylvie's face showed just how happy she was that people were complimenting her friend. One correction. She wasn't just attractive from men's point of view. And she's no mommy either, necessarily. However, now that I think about it, I really am blessed. What? Never mind. Oh. Raina replied as she sprawled out on my bed and nibbled on potato chips. Raina, Raina, page. <laughs> Sylvie was there beside her. Elisan was here too, but if you were wondering why she hasn't lex she wasn't lecturing her sloppy behavior. It was because she was preparing tonight's dinner. なぜ白滝はお肉から話すのかしら。すき焼きというのはお肉が主役なのでしょう。そこからわざわざ遠ざけるなんて残酷ですわ。申し訳ない。わかりかねます。しかし日本のすき焼きは鍋奉行なる
何かしら必要な理由があるそれが伝統というものですここは従っておくべきかと仕方ありませんわねさようなら白滝あなたのことは忘れなくてよ You could probably figure out the current situation even without much explanation, though. Eru, Eru, Skiaki Dekta? Moshibarako, much could I say? Ima, Varista, it's good to Orimas. Varista, it's good. Zah, can't all food on it. Can't all food? Nandis, so ever. Mata Pugion, the Yatsume, but Nanika Ruru, Kime Masta, no? It's fine, really. It won't change the taste. Tanasimida, Skiaki. But yeah, we ended up having sukiyaki today at Sylvie's request. As a princess, I was sure she had eaten delicious meals from all around Japan at her assorted meetings and business dinners. However, sukiyaki was a luxury item for us commoners and it hit us right in our blind spot. Not that I knew why we weren't having it at my place. Right, right. Yeah, may as well. It saved me the cost of a dinner. Getting to eat sukiyaki with a princess and night wasn't an experience that came along every day either. Sounds fun. And then. I am grateful they used ingredients that were up to their standards. I am grateful they used ingredients that were up to their standards. Ella san's group had gotten all the tools and ingredients together for us. She and Mina chan were also doing the cooking. I have no idea what sukiyaki is. I'd like to find out though. Uh, I think I get what you mean. Not that there's an actual reason. That's a coincidence. My family had sukiyaki a lot, too. Ah, dessert soba is gross when it's boiled, so you mean the kind you can dip in sukiyaki broth? それそれ。あんまりやらないから大晦日だけの贅沢。意外とどの地域でも一人は通じる人がいる。日本人あるあるだよね。あ、面白いわね。ねえ、今年は私も大晦日の日すき焼きにしたいわ。年末年始は国に帰っているはずですので、私どもでは決めかねます。うわ。じゃあね。じゃあ終わろう。私らはそうしよっか。集まってすき
まあ分かってはいたけどね誰とは言えないけどそこそこな数の男子からモーションかけられてるしあちょっとオーロエロい目で見ないでちょうだい私そんな安い女じゃないぞ She covered her body with her arms and hands. Based on my earlier observations, I noticed this woman loved to use her own body as material for some absurd comedy routine. I was just wondering why someone like you was so popular. It wasn't that I didn't understand why she was popular. Kind, cute, and easy to talk to, those sorts of traits were more than enough to trounce, trounce? most men. But I still didn't understand what that motherly love thing meant. Hmm? <laughs> Rena laughed happily. What the? Crossed my mind, but. Now that dinner was ready, our conversation naturally came to an end. Incidentally, as for the sukiyaki. Oh my god! I didn't think it was possible that she was worse than Ele, bro. What? This meat's tasty. I expected as much, but you're a major hotspot commissioner, huh? In a time. Despite the noisy girl in attendance, we had a delicious meal. It was a real treat to have two princesses in the night sitting around and eating a meal together. And. Sure. The most popular girl in class. Nice. That was nice. Very, very nice. Inino <laughs> 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 まったくもう。10代の私が芸能人興味ないし、それでもテレビ屋のお嬢会な。下品だから嫌いなのよ。どいつもこいつも。そう。下品だわ。最近身の回りのまなみんなが下品。気が休まらないというなら、これが一番の原因ね。ま、まあ
You've got a strong constitution when it comes to spices, then. That's a good thing. Yeah. And it'd be fine if I just couldn't sit. Not being able to touch it is the biggest issue. Like, if you put toilet paper in between, for example. Don't get the wrong idea. I bear with the pain to wipe. Besides, we've got bidets and other modern conveniences these days. Bidet? Bidet? Right. But then, that's only true when you put it under the right setting. I'm sure everyone has experienced the destructive force of a bidet set to full blast. <laughs> there was this one time I accidentally used the strongest bidet setting after eating a lot of spicy food and was in real agonizing pain. You call it a drill? That's accurate. I thought I was going to pierce my butt and shoot straight into my brain. Man, the pain was so intense the part of me thought, just finish the job and end me already. Okay, that's the end of my scary story. <laughs> Good! I don't want you there either. We're <laughs> 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 talking about bidet, spicy food, and, and diarrhea, probably. Presumably. <laughs> Uh, what a way to end it. I like that. <laughs> I like how Rain is like so invested in the story too. That's so funny. That was a really, really good first episode of Reina's Root. I could already tell him I love this route a lot too. And Reina, again. I'm not going to get into the whole Reina tangent again like I have done in the past many times. But she's already up here since the very start so i know i'm gonna love this and i'm already liking this to be honest she's funny and their interactions are just they're great it's gonna be one of the funniest routes probably in this entire series but anyways that's all i got to say i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of king koi i d i know i did i know i did it was a good episode i thought it was a good episode and i hope you did too and if you did think so please drop that like for me the like and subscribe if you made it this way and hadn't already done so because why not? You made it this far. Come on, let's do it. Come on. Hit a thousand subs. Tell this channel. Tell this channel. Don't tell the channel. Tell your friends about this channel. <laughs> Share this video with your friends. Share this channel with your friends. Do everything. Do whatever. So I, we could hit a thousand subscribers. I would appreciate it. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next episode with another video. I'm very excited. I'm so excited about this show. Anyways, I'm out of here. Until next time, guys.